today we're going to convert units of time. Here's the basic facts we're going to be using. One minute equals 60 seconds. One hour equals 60 minutes. One day equals 24 hours. One week equals 7 days. One year equals 52 weeks. And one year equals 12 months. Our first example question says if we have six hours, how many minutes do we have? So first of all, we need to figure out which of these facts will help us. So the second one says one hour equals 60 minutes. So we have 60 minutes and we have six hours. So we're going to multiply 60 times 6, which is 360. So 6 hours equals 360 minutes. Our second example, we have 7 days. We want to know how many hours that will equal. So right here we know that 24 hours equals 1 day. So if we have 7 days, it's going to be 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2 is 16. So 7 days equals 168 hours. For this example, we have a half in here again. So five and a half years equals how many months? We know that 12 months equals one year. So we're going to multiply that, those five whole years first. So 12 times five is 60. And then we have another half of a year. So a year is 12 months. So half of 12 is six. So 60 plus 6 equals 66. So five and a half years equals 66 months. Here's one more example. This one has four sevenths. That may look scary at first, but it's really not that bad. So let's first of all find the facts that will help us. We need one with weeks and days. So here in the middle, one week equals seven days. So we have one whole week. So seven times one is just seven. And then we have four sevenths of a week. So if a week is seven days and we have four of those seven, that's just going to add another four days. So seven plus four equals 11. So one and four sevenths weeks equals 11 days. Try these next three along with me. Go ahead and pause it if you need to. And then when you've got it done, unpause it to check to see if you got it right. So four minutes equals how many seconds? So you should have used the first fact there at the top. 60 seconds equals one minute. We have four. So 60 times 4 equals 240. Okay, try this one along with me as well. Pause it if you need to. And then unpause it when you're ready to check it. So 2 years equals how many weeks? 52 weeks are in a year. And we have 2. So 52 times 2 equals 104. Last one to try with me. Two and a half days equals how many hours? Pause it and unpause when you're ready to check. Okay, so one day has 24 hours. We have two whole days. So 24 times 2 equals 48. And a half of a day would be half of 24, which is 12. So 48 plus 12 is 60. So two and a half days equals 60 hours. If you feel comfortable with these last couple, go ahead and move on to the four independent problems. If not, you may want to start the video again and watch the second or third time. Here's question number one. Three hours equals how many minutes? Number two. Three and a half years equals how many months? 
Number three, five years equals how many weeks? And number four, four and a half days equals how many hours? Bring these four problems into class tomorrow and have a wonderful evening.